I quit my job about four months ago to build startups and one of the hardest thing to do was to actually find good startup ideas. Not only do you have to find the idea itself and they also have to be pretty good. I struggle with it a lot but I think I found a few ways that really works for me so let me share them with you today. So before I dive right into how to actually come up with ideas, there's a few things I want to demystify. Firstly, that your initial idea doesn't have to be earth shattering. I think a lot of people, when they think of startups, they think of like crazy new ideas that no one has ever thought about. But actually a lot of these startups to begin with was just really small ideas and then they evolved into something bigger. Think Facebook, for example. The first version was literally this website that helps you rate whether someone in Harvard it was hot or not. And secondly, ideas will change. So like the Facebook example, it certainly isn't that who's hot in Harvard website anymore. And lastly, it has to solve some worldly, super high moral problems. It makes you miss out on a lot of small opportunities where you can actually provide a good solution for it. At least that's my take after reading tons of books, listening to loads of podcasts and building a startup myself for a few months. Now I've been to many places and won so many races, I was a child. How many subscribers do you have? 3.5k? Yo, that's not Fuck. good. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. Where's it going? Yeah. How long did it take you to grow until... For fucking ages. I just wanna lie in the sun. Lie in the sun. Yeah. Lie in the sun. I don't want to break it, bro. <laughs> Imagine me. Oh, oh, okay. George Washington's in their hand. Oh. <laughs> Asking for like, hey, play for me in Americans, man. Are all your friends like that from America? No, he's just Mason. No, it's just Mason. He doesn't, he doesn't drink for a reason. I flush my kids down in the club. I just came back from a day trip, but let's talk about startup ideas. The first and probably the most basic and important way of finding ideas is to solve your own problem. What a business is, is essentially just solving other people's problem in return for money. I remember when I was 18, I started this print-on-demand online store selling like coffee-related t-shirt or something. Print-on-demand is basically this business model where someone else handles all the logistics, delivery and everything, and you just have to literally like design the design for whatever you're selling. So this can be like t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, socks. So I was doing that for like a while, but I soon realized that I just didn't understand the niche that I'm in. I can't even tell the difference between a cold brew, ice Americano and like ice black coffee. To me, they're all the same. So in this case, this wasn't like a good idea to work on because I just didn't understand the problem enough. And that brings us to why solving your own problem is probably one of the best sources of ideas. A, you understand it deeply. You're basically an expert at your own problem because it really annoys you. So you understand all the intricacies, you understand what exactly is so annoying about the problem and you know exactly what could make it better. And secondly, if you have that problem, it's likely that someone else also have some kind of similar problems out there in the world. And that's what you want, right? You want people to also have that problem so you can actually sell it to them and then make some money off that. And actually right now, my current startup project, Case Fast, is exactly that. But before I explain, I think I'm gonna get a haircut. <laughs> So yeah, let's talk about CaseFast. CaseFast is exactly that, a problem that I used to have. Basically, CaseFast is this AI tool that will help candidates prepare for their consulting case interview. A little bit of background on me if you're new here. Basically, I worked in management consulting before I quit to build my own startup. And to break into consulting, you basically have to do these super peculiar and specific case interviews. They're very specific to consulting. So you have to spend a lot of time preparing for it beforehand. I spent months preparing for case interviews before I actually got my offer. So that's like maybe 30 to 50 cases that I've done. And the best way to practice case interview is usually with a buddy. So someone that also happens to be interviewing at the same time. And you guys just sort of have to take turns interviewing each other. Or you can pay like $100, $200 for an hour of case interview practice with some actual consultants. 
or you can always practice by yourself, but that's the least effective way. That was something I struggled with a lot when I was applying for consulting. The need to constantly look for someone that's also down to practice with me. And because I'm a broke student, I didn't have any money to spend on actually hiring a coach to practice with me. And because I've tried to break into consulting before, I have friends who are trying to break into consulting still. I know this is a real problem that other people also faces. So that's definitely the first really good way of finding startup ideas. It's a really nice day living in the So solving your own problem is a pretty good way of coming up with startup ideas, but then another problem appears. Most of these problems that you can think of are often so common that yes, a lot of people have them, but it also means that tons of people have already tried these ideas. A good one is like a to-do list app. Everyone wants to be more productive. Everyone wants to get their life in order. So tons of people just start these like to-do list app. You sort of want to come up with ideas that are a bit more original. Honestly, the best way that I've found is just to go out there and live a unique and original life. That sounds super corny, but let me explain. The first startup idea I worked on after I quit my job was this AI tool for content creators. What it does, it helps content creators increase their engagement rate and it helps them convert more people into their sales funnel. The only reason why I even thought about that idea was because I am a content creator myself. So just by being a content creator, I face this problem that normal people just won't face in their day-to-day life. So if you don't wanna come up with ideas that are just like super boring, super and original, then maybe just go out there and try to be more intentional about living a more unique and original life. So some ways I've been able to do that is to say yes to everything, almost everything. One of my friends recently moved from America to London and because of that, a lot of his friends traveling from America will come see him. And I always try to ask him to bring me along to meet more of his friends just because I want to be exposed to more different types of people as well as different types of thinking. We went on this road trip like two days ago and it was just really cool because you get to meet people that live in different cities, work in different professions and that inspires you with different ideas. I've also been trying out different experiences just to try expand the way I see things. So recently I started playing like tennis, pickleball, and just even by doing stuff like that will give you new startup ideas. Um, can you serve? Recently I've been getting better. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we can do that, we can do that. No, we can do like... <laughs> okay, I'm That's where we go for... It's a really nice day living in the right space Breathing your guys got me feeling so good away One of my friends, he was working on this startup idea relating to tennis. In London, it's so hard to book a tennis court because they always run out really quickly. And also you have to check different courts website independently. He wanted to build this centralized website where it shows you all the available tennis court bookings depending on the time and location that you choose. And I mean, that kind of ideas won't come to you unless you are someone that plays tennis. So going back to the point of just go out there, be more original, be more unique, try out different stuff because that's gonna give you the best unique idea that some other people also face this, but they are unique enough that there's not already like a few thousand startups doing exactly that. So I've just had dinner and showered, it's around 10 p.m. right now, gonna do a bit of late night working. But before that, I think if you've watched till right now, one thing I'll say to you is if you have any sort of idea, you're young, like, just go and try it. I'm 23, I took the leap of faith myself because I know that there will not be a better time for me to do it. Life is always gonna be hard. Life won't get any easier. This is probably the time where life is the least complex, where I have the least responsibility, where the opportunity cost is still relatively low for me to go out and try different crazy ideas. I think a lot of people get stuck with fear. If you really think about it, there's only two things that you're gonna really lose if your business or startup doesn't really work. Firstly, you might lose a bit of money. Secondly, you might lose a bit of faith. Yes, maybe you'll be embarrassed, your friends will like laugh at you for a bit, and maybe you'll lose a little bit of money that could have like bought you a holiday or something. But think about the upside. What would life look like if it all worked out? And at the end of the day, right, you don't need crazy tactics to come up with startup ideas. You just have to take the first step and you'll figure the rest out. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really, really does help push the content a bit more to the algorithm. I mean, comment down below what you think about 
what I do to like generate ideas and comment down below also what you want to see in the future. That's it for me today. Uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.